Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to evaluate whether or not the anti-vegan community properly knows how to meme and we're going to look at some anti-vegan memes and see if there's truth to them and you know overall see if they're funny if they're cringe things like that if you don't know i recently dropped a video debunking one of their memes which had a lot of the health claims and there was a lot of like uh like anti-vegans in the comments saying things like oh like congratulations bro you just debunked a meme or like we're pointing at the absurdity of trying to debunk a meme or you know evaluate some of the claims in memes as if memes are just a hundred percent humor and aren't ever actual representations of people's views. And I found this also very ironic because if you look at the anti-vegan subreddit, there's plenty of times where they're showing vegan memes and giving their problems with them as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a little disingenuous to act like, oh, in the vegan community or the anti-vegan community, you know, memes are just pure, like they're just based on humor and, and oh, it's just funny, it's just laughs. When in reality, a lot of times, and just like in many other situations, humor, can be used in a way to express your actual thoughts on something. And you guys know I do this all the time with my like sarcastic videos and like little parodies. There's little grains of truth and you know representations of what I actually think in the midst of all the trolling and the joking. So just gonna make that clear too. Like we're gonna be going through memes today and people are gonna probably be like, oh dude, like you're fucking debunking memes. It's like, yeah, well, yes, because there's literal like empirical implications or claims that are being made in these memes. So. Why not? And lastly, these memes are just very cringe. You might be wondering why I'm even in the anti-vegan subreddit. Well, sometimes it's enjoyable to just cringe, you know? I have a friend of mine and sometimes we just watch cringy content. I don't know what it is. Maybe we're just kind of weird, but it is a kind of a, it's a fun thing to do to just expose yourself to super cringy stuff. Oh, and lastly, just to talk about what sparked this video idea to come up into my head, I saw on the anti-vegan subreddit that they saw that I remade their little anti-vegan meme about the nutrients and how like we're missing all these nutrients or the vegan diet's lacking all these nutrients. And they tried to remake it and they had little versions. And one of the funny things about their little remakes of my remake was that they used John Venus's picture from when he was actually vegan to represent the anti-vegan and then the, you know, you had John Venus asking the question or saying like, oh, did you know that, you know, the vegan diet is lacking nutrients X, Y, Z. So, you know, even in their own way, they failed to remake my remake of the meme. You know, you got, you got to use a, a carnivore or like a real anti-vegan or non-vegan even if you're going to remake it to be somewhat accurate, right? So I guess that is the first meme we're covering today in some way. They're remaking of my remaking of their meme. So that was a complete fail. Let's go on to some other memes. So this first meme, guys, dear vegans, even plants think you're wrong. So this one's definitely really funny. I mean, obviously, and we all know that meat eaters like to look at the behavior of lions to determine what is ethical. But now we're seeing that anti-vegans with their super big brains are looking at plants without brains for advice on what we should eat. Am I granting too much in saying that anti-vegans have brains? Because maybe they don't, and that would just mean that we have the brainless following the brainless for advice, which would make sense. It's kind of like, you know, the blind lead the blind kind of thing. But in this case, it's just the brainless leading the brainless. This next meme says, uh, traditional hunter-gatherers getting ready to prepare a meal of soy protein, isolate, sorbitol, cornstarch, xanthan gum, and additive E151. So this meme was from Carnivore Aurelius, and in all honesty, his whole page is a giant meme in some way, ironically. So if you ever have time, definitely go ahead and just see what he has to say. The fact that he says these things unironically is just, you know, it's a meme in and of itself. So I just gotta wonder, you know, do you guys think that hunter gatherers also were in the process of making social media posts online that included memes? I mean, for somebody who was a huge advocate of ancestral living like Carnivore Aurelius, I'm very surprised that he's posting memes, you know? But I, I honestly, not really because I'm pretty sure our ancestors were indeed making social media posts on their phone. Carnivore Aurelius is just another one of those ancestral living advocates who like to pick and choose what kind of ancestral living they want to, you know, live in alignment with, as opposed to living like an actual ancestor and, you know, not using your phone and not doing all these things that clearly our ancestors never did. So this one says, uh, vegan logic is so logical. And it shows a vegan saying, stupid omnis and carnists eating meat when all meats is unnatural and unhealthy. I think they meant all meats are unnatural and unhealthy. They should go vegan for the animals. And then they show, you know, a clear image of a vegan getting excited about very unnatural plant-based mock meat products. So I don't know what vegans are out here saying that we should stop mass breeding, exploiting and murdering animals, 
because it's not natural. I tend to hear vegans and said say something like, hey, like, you know, their suffering and death is a bad thing. Not really that it's unnatural to support their suffering and death. If anything, this meme is quite backwards considering that meat eaters are usually the ones who try to justify our consumption of animals with, oh, eating meat is natural though. Not to mention that they say this while consuming artificially bred animals, which obviously is not natural. If you go through the subreddit, the anti-vegan subreddit, you'll see tons of appeal to nature fallacies left and right. So, you know, it's definitely the vegans that are being the illogical ones, not the ones who are just using one of the first fallacies that you learn to not use when engaging in moral philosophy or you know argumentation in general like guys i know these are supposed to be memes right they're just so funny but again let's not be dishonest here these people who like these memes they like it because there's some truth to them memes tend to have grains of truth hidden in them so just gonna reiterate for the morons in the comments that are like bro you're f debunking a meme yeah a meme that has like actual uh, implications that reflect the views of actual anti-vegans. I mean, just look at any anti-vegan comment section and you'll see the things that are being elicited in this meme, they also feel and believe in. Okay, if it's okay to eat animals, why don't you eat your dog? And then the dog is saying, we literally were bred by humans to help you hunt and eat meat. I don't really understand this one. I mean, if it's okay to eat animals, then what follows from that is that we can eat dogs, regardless of whether or not they were bred by humans to help us hunt and eat meat. Also, does this meme apply to chihuahuas and pugs and poodles and all these other dogs that clearly were not bred to help us hunt, or at least are very bad at doing so? Do these people that are, you know, trying to use this argument against eating dogs under the, you know, assumption that it's okay to eat animals for eating chihuahuas, pugs, and all that, are they consistent? Do they mean to say like, okay, yeah, well, I don't eat dogs because dogs were bred to help us hunt and all that. And you know, what would follow from that is that they think it's okay to eat certain dogs though, that clearly were not bred for hunting and helping us, you know, get meat. They were bred for our, you know, pet ownership and like, oh, this, this one's so cute. I love this one. You know, that's what those dogs are bred for. So it, it should follow that they do think that eating pugs and these like uh, not good at hunting dogs is completely ethical. So this one says, Vegans are being fooled 365 days a year into eating this garbage. Beyond Burgers give you protein. Apparently this is a lie to them. Uh, it's going to be hard to establish how there's no protein in a, a Beyond Burger, but anyway. And then it says April Fool's, it's highly processed man-made slop, which offers no bioavailable nutrients. No bioavailable nutrients. Is this, you know, does this mean that we literally, when we consume a Beyond Burger, absorb zero nutrients because it's not, there's there's no bioavailable nutrients in a Beyond Burger. I mean, that's, that's an insane claim to make and I'd like to see it substantiated. And then it says, it's chemically synthesized with artificial thickeners, emulsifiers, colors, and flavors, high in estrogen, and could lead to multiple issues, including cancer. Let's be honest, guys, the only thing on the screen right now that can give you multiple health issues, possibly including cancer, is gonna be this meme itself. All right, so we got this meme over here. Very similar to the other one where there's this weird assumption that vegans think it's okay to be vegan or you should be vegan because it's natural. When in reality, we just have a problem with animals being bred into existence to suffer and die. It really is amazing to think that, you know, vegans are just out here using the appeal to nature fallacy on a large scale. Like I'm sure some vegans do, right? But it's usually the anti-vegans that are saying like supplements aren't natural and the, the ones that are just using the whole, you know, appeal to nature fallacy. So these kinds of memes were, were presumed to be using the appeal to nature fallacy is a little ironic. Literally just go scroll through the uh, anti-vegan subreddit and you'll see a lot of bullshit about, oh, supplements aren't natural. It's everywhere. Okay, this one says, imagine this shit is good for your health while, quote, saving the environment. And it says, vegans, meat, dairy, and eggs are bad for your health and the environment. Also them. And then it shows a bunch of the processed stuff that vegans tend to consume. Yeah, so vegans don't view these mock products as good for your health. Maybe some do, but for the most part, in my experience, I don't see vegans consuming these foods for health benefits, but instead ethical benefits. And any rational vegan is going to tell you that veganism is not meant to save the environment or it's not going to save the environment. I'm not even sure what saving the environment means. Most rational vegans that I've talked to just acknowledge that going vegan is better for the planet than not going vegan in relation to our current agricultural system. Oh look, more evidence of brainless anti-vegans looking to brainless plants for life advice. Also, I know this is just a meme and you know language can be very loose with memes, but I wouldn't put it past these anti-vegans to genuinely think that plants can think. So this one says clowns and it shows a vegan saying rotten corpse meat, chicken period eggs and pus milk are gross, followed by it saying also vegans and we have uh, almond milk, we have a vegan egg product and then we have 
the Beyond Burger. So this one's pretty genius. I mean, as if vegans have a problem with the shape and structure of animal products, as opposed to what they actually are. This might come as a shocker, guys, so let me just say this really, really slowly. Almond milk is not the same thing as bovine animal secretions or excretions, however you wanna word that. And then we have a plant-based egg product, which didn't come out of a hen's ass, or if you wanna be technical, a hen's cloaca. And then get this, Beyond Burgers are not rotting corpse. Wow. This is like deeming somebody ridiculous or inconsistent for thinking that murder is wrong, but then enjoying killing people in video games. All right, so this one says the McNasty, and it says this is literally the one burger from SpongeBob that killed the health inspector. So as a big fan of SpongeBob, of all the cringe that we just witnessed, this meme is probably the most cringe, mainly because if you actually watch the episode of SpongeBob, it wasn't the burger that, quote, killed the health inspector. He also wasn't even killed. A fly went into his mouth and caused him to choke. So anti-vegans not only are cringe, but when it comes to SpongeBob, they don't know their shit, which arguably makes this the worst meme we've gone over today. Oh look, we have another instance of saying vegans don't get bioavailable nutrition, which of course we know is true. I literally have not absorbed any nutrition for seven years. So this one is very interesting and also very relevant to me. I'm still yet to see an actual vegan strongman that started their physique on a 100% plant-based diet. Now, they said vegan strongman, but I think we can assume that they also would like to see a bodybuilder or someone with a decent physique as well who has built all their muscle on a plant-based diet. So, although I have not, and I'm not a person who has built all my muscle on a plant-based diet, I did end up losing most of my muscle during a Crohn's flare-up where I lost around 30 pounds, and then 100% through a plant-based diet, I gained it all back and more. So what's the excuse here? Are you going to say that my muscle memory from eating animal protein before being vegan caused me to gain all of my muscle back solely through eating plants after my Crohn's flare up? Hopefully not because that would be a very dumb thing to say. Uh oh guys, we got the vegan starter pack, AKA ways you can get vitamins without harming your health and not paying for bread into existence animals to suffer and die. Imagine having an issue with supplementation in the year 2022. All right guys, that's the end of the video. When it comes to memes, they gotta be funny of course, they can't be cringe and they have to have some amount of truth to them. And I'd say that a lot of the you know, memes here were either you know, lacking in the funny department, they were cringe, they were you know, not very truthful or you know, based on actual facts or some combination of all three. Really sad to see you guys. Anyway guys, if you support my work and you wanna support me on Patreon, the link to my Patreon will be in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Dude. Fuck off, I don't there. want anything to do with you. Don't ever speak to me again. You're a fucking piece of shit. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude.